let's explore this bond issuance situation. I'll read it in front of you. Riley Natural Fertilizer, Inc. issued 780,000 of 8% base value bonds on January 1st, 2016 for $763,800. The bonds are due December 31st, 2018 and pay interest semi-annually on, on June 30th and December 31st. Riley uses the straight line amortization method, okay? And we've got two questions to answer. The first question asks us, what journal entry would we make on Riley's books on January 1st, 2016? That's at the point the bonds are issued. And then the second question says, what journal entry would we make on June 30th and on December 31st, 2016? Okay, I saw I had a typo in here, so I fixed that for you. All right, so the first thing we have to calculate is the bond discount at issuance, and that's a pretty easy calculation. You can see the formula up here, or if I hit the F2, you can see it right here. So we take the face value, the 780,000, and we subtract out the proceeds we received, which was 763,800. Okay, so we know we're gonna have a bond discount at the issuance of 16,000, $200. Now, although we don't need to do the rest of this calculation until we tackle the second question, let's go ahead and do it anyway. The number of biannual periods is six. Now, how did I come up with that? Well, they're only three-year bonds, right? We issued them at the 1st of 16, the 1st of January, 2016, and uh, they come due the end of 2018. So that's 16, 17, 18, that's three years. Semi-annually means there's two periods per year. So that's how I come up with six, okay? So then if we divide the, uh, the bond discount by the, bi by, by the biannual periods, right? 16, two divided by six, we come up with what the biannual straight line amortization would be. All right, so once we have that, we can make the entry. So what do we do? Well, we received 763,800 of cash. That's the bond proceeds. And we need, and we increase cash. And then we also have to increase the bonds at the face value. That's 780,000. Now, the difference represents the discount on the bonds payable, which serves as a contra liability account. And we debit it for 16,200. And at that point, our debits equal our credits. We're done with the first entry. Now, the next two entries are pretty straightforward. We need to um, um, credit the amount of cash we need to pay on the bond and debit interest expense. But the interest expense is the sum of the cash that we have to pay plus the straight line amortization of the discount on the bonds. Okay, now your screen may have shifted a little bit. What I wanted to do was show you how we come up with that 31,000, well, actually how we're gonna come up with the 33,900 of, of interest expense, as well as the 31,200. Okay, well, the face value of the bonds are 780,000 and the contract rates as 8%. So if on an annual basis, we would just take the 780 times the 8%, all right? That would be the annual amount, but that's not, the correct way to do it. We need to split that in half since essentially we've got the face amount times the contract rate, but we're only recording it for half a year. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and divide it by two. And that would be the, uh, the amount of the interest on a semi-annual basis that you have to pay. Okay, so that's the 31,200. Then you add the 2,700 of the biannual amortization to it, and that's how you come up with uh, the interest expense per period. Okay, now if I slide on down, what we're going to see is the exact same entry at December 31st. Here, let me bring this back up so you can see the calculations a little bit. Okay, and that's this problem, everyone. Thank you.